Halloween hype! I tried so hard to beat this map as soon as they released the Halloween update, but it was basically midnight for me, and I was tired, so my brain wasn't working quite right. And we tried it like five times, but we couldn't quite get the strat down. So I go to bed for about five hours, and I wake up to this beautiful strategy made by Alpha R. And that's what we use to win this game. I've used it about five times since then, and we've won every single game with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is the OP go-to strat for beating the Halloween 2020 event in Tower Defense Simulator. Hello guys. If you don't know, my name is Harrison and I have two cats. I'm going to be putting a link to the Google Doc for this strategy in the description below. You can also join my Discord at discord.gg slash just Harrison things to get additional help and just find people to play with in general. So let's get started here and let me go ahead and give a big fat shout out to the creator and testers of this strategy for their sacrifice to the human race. Alpha R, 5ACZ, Icy Flare, and Small Hurricane. Also, let me give a shout out to the people that helped me win my game. Awesome Perel, 6641YT, Dobbles RB, and Not That Noob. This strat is very simple. I highly recommend just following the Google document. Each player only needs three towers, so let me go ahead and tell you what those are. Player one will use Minigunner, Ranger, and DJ. Player two is going to use Minigunner, Commander, and Turret. Player three is going to use Ace Pilot, Ranger, and Turret. And finally, player four is going to use Military Base and Ranger. So only two towers for them. To be honest, I don't really think that the turret is all that important. I'd focus on placing and upgrading Rangers if I were you. And Golden Minigunners help, but you can also just use regular ones. Here are the placement locations. Put Ace Pilot here. Put the Military Bases here. Put the Rangers on these two hills. Place the DJ booth here. Put the Command here and if you use turrets place those right in this area here again this strategy has worked for me every single time don't deviate from it if you want a guaranteed win and one final note there is a bug in the game right now that affects the placement price of towers it says they're more expensive than they actually are for example the minigunner says that it costs 2,500 to place but you can actually place it when you have 2,000 which is the regular placement price of the tower anyway but be aware that the upgrade prices are accurate because this strategy is so simple I'm just gonna go Go ahead and tell you what each player should do as soon as the game starts player one should save for a level three minigunner once that's down they should place a dj and get it to level three after that place a ranger and level it up to three then max the dj then put down as many level three rangers as possible in the designated areas once those areas are full get the rangers to max level one by one now for player two at the beginning of the match they should also save for a level three mini after that they need to work on getting three level two commanders be sure to use call the arms when the witches show up on wave 10 then they should max one commander and finally max the other two commanders and add a couple of turrets and max those now for player three they're going to place a tower as soon as they load in put down the ace pilot and upgrade it to level two then save for a ranger and when you place that level it up to level three after that work on placing rangers upgrading them to level three before placing the next one and also place a couple of turrets in there too once you've placed all the rangers that can fit on those hills upgrade the ones that you put down to max and finally we come to player four easily the easiest player to be in this strat they're gonna go ahead and place a military base as soon as the game starts and upgrade it to level two then work on placing four more level two military bases after that start putting down rangers leveling one up to level three before placing the next and when you run out of room for that go ahead and start upgrading them to max level one at a time and that's the winning strategy if you can't get into the google doc feel free to pause my video and take a picture or write it down. Now go ahead and watch the rest of this video to see how it plays out.
I really love the interactive elements on this map, and I think the train showing up is super neat. It would even be cool if there was a regular map where a train is just always circling the play area. And I also really like how the townspeople rise up and fight back. It just kind of brings the story to life. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And once again, go ahead and join my growing Discord community. You can do that at Discord.com. Like GG slash just Harrison things. But that's it for now. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace.